YouTube, how you doing? It's Mike again in Detroit. I think we're on beginner piano uh, five, 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 number five. So if you're new here, you stumbled on this video, welcome. Um, this is a place for beginner, intermediate, all those people who are just trying to be pretty good. And that's good enough because uh, we play for the joy of it. Anyway, so far we should know. And then if you need to go back and check out piano beginner one, two, three, and four, uh, just by way of review, we've covered how to find all the notes, how to find a major scale in every key, and uh, triads. Triads. Uh, last time we talked about chord inversions. That kind of thing. So today we're going to take a lot, another little step forward. A couple things I want to do today is... So far, we've been trailing along with our left hand like one note. So when we played a triad, we just played that. When we played the F triad, we just, right, that we just, our left hand has been kind of out of it, you know. And I, and I understand that left hand is a challenge for beginners. So we're going to find some things to do with the left hand today. And, uh... We're going to get into take these triad chords into some kind of chord progression. We talk a little bit about diatonic harmony. Diatonic just means within the key. So let's let's start with the key of C. First thing we want to know is the number system. We always want to know that. So the one chord in the key of C is C. Diatonically. The two chord. If I build, if I build um, a chord on, I'm going to end up with a D minor chord. If I build a chord off E, staying in the scale, I'm going to end up with an E minor chord. F major. That's the four chord. G major is the five chord. A minor is the sixth chord. I played that kind of inside out. See my virtual keyboard up there that way. And then we have a B diminished chord. We're back to where we started from. That's diatonic harmony in the key of C. I hope you've practiced enough that you can do that in any key, in any key. That those triads. Um, let's just take one or two. We'll belabor the point because I belabored it in the last video or video before that. So let's take a key at random. Let's take D flat. Then. So D flat is one. E flat is two. First, you got to know the D flat scale. Go a little bit slower. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Watch how I'm fingering this too. We have the scale now. Let's put chord, let's put triads to that. Uh, one chord, two chord, three chord, four, five, six. Uh, F. Two, 
and the scale I'm reviewing now. That's whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. That's whole step, whole step, half step, whole, 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 half. All major scales follow that formula. Now notice how I'm fingering that. Thumb under. to that. Here's the one chord. Two chord. Three chord, A minor. Four chord. Five. Six. Seven. So keep working on that, you know, whether it takes a day, a month, a year, doesn't matter. That keep working on that until you can play those triads in diatonic, diatonic harmony in pretty much any key, any key, there's 12 of them. So that's a chunk of work, but that's good foundational work that'll pay dividends as long as you play the piano. So I wanna move on to Let's give your left hand a little bit more work to do. Not too much. Let's go back to the key of C. Here's our triad, and before we just did that, found it pretty good, but let's take octaves now. Let's move my right hand. So I got octaves in the left hand, and my, this, my first finger is gonna go, and it's gonna play the fifth. a fuller sound. We're going to get a fuller sound against this triad. Now anytime the piano is a unique instrument um, that um, it's a chordal instrument like the guitar but unlike the guitar you can play notes with both hands. So you have to coordinate these hands have to not bite each other. So um, it's a general rule of thumb that your highest note should sing and everything else should be under that. Now I'm talking dynamics wise, loud and soft wise. So you really don't want your left hand overwhelming your right hand generally. You don't want Your left hand to be the support hand while your right hand takes the lead. Usually 90% of the time that's going to be true. So get the feel of this left hand. So find the root, fifth, root, and a triad. Now let's move to F. Root, fifth, root, left hand, try it in the right hand. All right, let's go to B flat. Left hand, right hand. The first thing to do is, is let your left hand find these chords. Here's, here's, Flat, and here's an E flat triad. Here's A flat. Now remember, in your right hand, you know inversion, so you could have gone here. to take in, then just stay with the uh, uh, root positions. But if, if, you're a bit, if you're a bit more adventurous, 
use this left hand with the with the I'm on A flat right now. Combine that left hand with the last lesson we did with the uh, chord inversions. Okay, let's not leave out our minor chords. Um, root, fifth, that's D minor, root, fifth, root. styling your music, arranging, arranging on the spot. Sometimes I'll... So let's go back to the E flat one chord again. And instead of walking up, I'm going to hang out on the, on the one chord for a while. Notice that's the right hand notes I have to work with, and this is the left hand notes I have to work with. And I'm just dancing around with that. My left hand is in a dance with my right hand. I'm going to do a chord inversion. hand is supporting. Now you want to do another chord inversion. These are notes and here's, here's that chord. Let me block it so you can see it on my virtual keyboard. But I'm just dancing around. 
know the chord and version. That's how slow you want to practice this. So your so your head, your fingers, your muscles absorb this. Uh, this beginner stuff is really not to be rushed. So now let's move to the uh, two chord and let's do the same thing. Here's the left hand for F minor, root, fifth, root. some music out of this. Let's, let's invert again. Pretty chord. Three chord is a G minor. Now I'll go here. Now you notice that this thumb here, hey, you're bumping in the, the left hand is bumping into the right hand, and that's going to happen sometimes. Just, just one of them got to be left out until you move out of the way. Uh, now you can get the root fifth root. So it's a it's a prescription of how you work with these chords. Now we're gonna we added a little left hand um, uh, a to give your left hand something to do, but b to give you a fuller sound. Um, because up up to now we really worked on foundational stuff with your right hand. All right, one more thing I want to give you. Um, and now we're going to start moving into chord progressions because first we learn notes, then we learn chords, then we learn some ways to play the chord, then we learn some chord progressions, and chord progressions will lead you right to songs, which is where we want to be. Actually, you don't want to reverse that. You don't want to learn songs without knowing chord progressions because you won't understand what the song is all about um, but we'll get there we'll get there we'll get there so diatonic harmony D minor let's see it goes in the C again D minor E minor F major G that's the five six seven one if you are a gospel player, uh, if you like gospel music, um, many gospel pianists will change that up a little bit, that diatonic harmony I just played. It will change that up a little bit, just slightly, just slightly. Now the one chord is going to be the same. Let's put the bass, let's put our left hand with it too. Key of C, one chord is one. Two chord, a lot of time will fill, will fill that out by playing a four over two. A lot of times you'll hear that in gospel music. Now in jazz, not so much, but in gospel, yes. Gospel pianists love the four chord, and they'll stick it in where, so instead of playing this, instead of playing a two chord D minor, we're playing an F major over a D bass. And of course, you got the root, fifth root. So, so far we have a one chord. Just gives it a different flavor, a different, it's like seasoning your food. So gospel pianists will season their music a little bit differently. Not a lot, there, but you'll hear the subtle differences. 
So one chord, same. Two chord could be a D minor, but it could be a F major, four over two. Three chord. Now, before we played E minor, but a lot of gospel will play, or they'll play a one over three. So we have one, four over two, one over three. Sounds gospel already, doesn't it? Four chord is four chord. Five chord is five chord. Six chord is six chord. Although I've heard people play a one over six too. That chord. But a lot of people will play the six chord. Now on the seven chord, gospel pianists will play a five over seven. So that'd be G over B. run through that again and I'll do that in a few keys so you you get you you nail it down so this part you might want to grab your uh, pencil and paper and make a couple notes so when we see a one chord in a key we'll play a one chord and we're thinking gospel style now when we see a two chord that means D we could play a four over two We see a three chord, we could play a one over three to give it that gospel y kind of flavor. And then four chord is the same. Five chord is the same. Primary chords are going to be the same. One, four, and five are called primary chords. Six chord choice. You could play the six chord or you could play a one over six. Let me finish that up. Uh, when you see a seven chord in the key of C is B, you play five over seven. Now, you've heard that song if you've been in any kind of church. And we're back to the one chord. Now, one more time, and then I'll do a couple keys and then we'll wrap up this video. A uh, lot to chew on this this time. When I say one chord, that's any inversion. So here's another chance to practice your inversion. So when I say four over two, right? That's any four chord. When I say one over three, chance to practice there for any four any inversion of four when I say five could be any inversion of five six chord now here I gave you a choice I gave you a this chord but it could be this if we're playing a minor if we're playing one then there's another uh, be both and then seven chord we're playing a G chord over B or five over seven and that means any G chord another chance to practice your inversions so in um, in diatonic harmony uh, gospel musicians often We'll switch it up a little bit. Now, let's finish it up by doing uh, man, one or two more uh, keys. But I want you to be ambitious and take it to any key. Any key that you any, keep practicing, write your notes, get your notebook out, figure it out until you can get this concept in any key. So let's do the key of F. One chord. 
let's go down here. Now again, you go down here in some keys, my hands are bumping into each other. You just have one of them has to just get out of the way. There's the one chord. Now, I said the two chord is a could be a four over two. Now in the key of F, four is B flat. My left hand is gonna play a two. My right hand is gonna play a four. That gives me B flat over G. And it's any old B flat. The three chord is a one over three. As soon as you hear that one over three, it just screams gospel. At least to my ear does. Now I'm on any old one chord. Of F, so one chord is F, but my bass is on G. Now let's add that. Uh, uh, let's add that. I mean, I mean, my bass is on A. Sorry. Here's my fuller left hand on A. My left hand is on three or A. My right hand is on one, so I'll end up with this. Right hand. Left hand, right hand, left hand, put it together. Now four is four. Watch this progression, four dropping to three. A little preview of what's to come. So back to four again. Uh, four is four, so B flat, B flat. Five is five, I get me a C. There's my left hand, and this is my right hand. I could have played this in the right hand, I could have played this in the right hand. You get the idea, I'm repeating myself now. Six chord, I gave you a choice now. The sixth chord, the bass is gonna play D. Could play a one chord over that. Here's my right hand, here's my left hand. Or I could play uh, D minor over that. The musician's choice. S seventh chord, uh, seventh chord, I will play a five over seven so in the key of F the five chord is C over E now, uh, now I'm gonna go down here Okay, threw a lot of stuff at you, um, and uh, rewind, you know, the rewind button is your best friend. Enjoy the process of learning this material, and, and when you get to, you know, sitting in the seat, your, your seat at church, or your seat at the jazz gig, you'll have the foundational skills that you need to, to, to feel confident. Anyway, enjoy your day. And I will talk to you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.